Hey guys, I hope this recording goes right, but, um, anyway. So, um, the base is dark, and things have changed. A lot of things have changed. The, the helicarrier has been finished, the, um, that has been shifted, some other things have happened. I built this hangar out of my tunnel that I was building, and then I got into space without really telling anyone that I was doing so. But uh, I'm about to bring a shipment of some smaller supplies. I've been doing this a few times, it all works. Uh, uh, I'll show you the whole process. No merge blocks except for the ones on the sides to dock with the actual platform. Uh, but yeah, everything is fueled up. Uh, and uh, yeah, there's ice in the hydrogen generator. Uh, is it working? Generator. It's okay, it's very slow. I'm gonna let that thing run for the bit, um, and I'll show you guys around the base. Actually, let me make sure it's turned off. Actually, let me make another one. Uh, thruster. Thrusters. But it's a very basic, uh, very basic rocket. I didn't even turn them off. Um, it's only temporary so that I can get up into space and build this platform and stuff like that. Uh, what was I going to check? Oh yeah, that. Also, I need to do this. Uh, I don't know why I'm bringing uranium with me, but screw it. Much lighter. Alright, uh, I put a defense shield up in creative because people running into our base is really annoying. Uh -huh. so that's about the only thing that I've done out of survival. So then, uh, clearing out some of the base with voxel hand, uh, so I could get some of the ice out because it was becoming gruesome. But I mean, that's not really cheating to get resources or to get an upper hand, that's just cheating so that I can, uh, speed up time a bit. So yeah, this whole hangar, I'm excited to show you guys. Uh, is it open? No, it isn't. So everything really fits in here. Um, I have buttons on the sides. This is Anthony's uh, miner right here. He built that by himself without any... Oops, I opened the doors. Without any uh, help from blueprints. Well, that's thing coming. that thing's coming down. Oh no, I forgot. Yeah. Um, I also built a garage down here with another cargo truck, and then I made it so all of these fit. Uh, I tested it, and I've run them around a few times. I flipped that thing over and had to get my miner to flip it back over. Uh, but yeah, pretty neat. Uh, yes. Alright. Oh, oh, whatever. Um, so yeah, uh, this whole elevator thing works out. It's very slow, but that's only so that the ships don't break themselves. Let me go check on the rocket. Ah, ah dang it. They need to really decrease the amount of speed that you go in order to kill yourself at. Because it's just annoying at some at points. I could spawn at the base, but I don't want to. Because I don't have a way back down other than doing a space jump, which I did at. Actually did, it's kind of boring. But, I mean, it's interesting to just do. It's a one-time thing. So, how's this going? Uh, 
15. Okay, how much ice is left? Not enough. Dang it. Alright, um... That's not... That's not gonna be enough at all. Can we just sit here and see how much we have left afterwards? Okay, uh, 18. Nope, not enough. Let me go ahead and power down, and then I'll be right back with a lot more ice. And... This... I hate it whenever you're trying to grab something and, it, and you can't grab it and then it just like disappears in front of you. Like, Nano just snapped his fingers for all ice on the planet. Inventory. So I need at least 40,000. So I am halfway there and last I remember I put some like 40k into there. I might just, um, I might just go into creative, no, and, cause like, I already have the elite hand drill, this is, this is completely, um, completely survival, like, look at my, look at the bottom left, uh, completely survi survival, I already have the hand drill, uh, elite hand drill, so I could just get the elite hand drill and then uh, not get it, but use it um, and use the infinite inventory and in creative, but I don't know. Sorry, a friend just texted me. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. So back to mining. I am so lost right now. Oh, here I am. By the way, if you guys are wondering, the stone on there was just me discovering how to use voxel hand, but I never abused it after that. So that's why there's stone on the ice. I was just a new learning how to use it. Okay. Once I'm done with these hydrogen generators, I need to grind them off. In fact, actually, I should probably just grind off the other one since I'm not using it. Because they're added weight. And I can't have any extra weight on this thing. Any unnecessary, unnecessary extra weight. Forgot that I needed construction components up there. Okay. Let's see how the refinery is doing. Oh, it's done. Oh wow, well, that's a lot of stuff. Uh, that's in our bases. You know what? We don't even use that very often. Let me go steal some ice out of the, uh... Whatchamacallit. Here we go. Slow down. <laughs> Alright, so now let me check what I'm at. Oh, by the way, guys, um, I'll be getting a new headset soon. I don't know if it'll be any better than the mic on my computer or if it'll be, yeah, any worse or better. I don't know where I was going with that, but whatever. Um, but yeah, that, that's happening. You know what? I just realized that I have a whole entire ship built for mining. Two ships built for mining, actually. 
Uh, so let me get that started up. Uh, I guess I'll use my own. So I don't want to have to damage Anthony's and not know how to fix it. Not that I would have to. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, and then let's bring this thing back up. What? Um, okay. All right then. Uh. Oh yeah, G-Man and Anthony are both not in the game. They are just in cryotubes, sitting in there. I don't care what cargo container that was, I need to get my body. What is it? No, not that. There, uh... Do do do. And I can probably just chuck this one. To here, I don't know. Yeah, alright. Um, no, no, let's get that. Oh, is this gonna fit? Yes, it is. Now I can jump back in here. Hope you guys can hear uh, uh, the gameplay. It's awfully slow, but once you get up, you get up. Alright, uh... So where was I doing this before? Let me just go in at an angle so I don't flop over. Oh, this is kind of fast. Alright, there we go. Yeah, slow down. There we go. Let's see how much we got out of that. Uh, inventory. Mech did. Oh, uh, dang it. Oh! Wait. Oh, yeah. 41 kilograms. Auto connector. Alright, why don't we chuck that in there? 52. So let me actually get this into my own. Wait. Oh. Alright, so it looks like I'm gonna have to take it out of the drills themselves. Alright, and then shift this over. And then just gonna be back and forth. Everything's already fueled up, he said. I'm ready to go to space, I said. Actually, I didn't, but... I mean, practically what I said. I'm not gonna need a gun on this. Well, I might as well just no, because I don't even have the ammo for it. I'm just gonna leave that in there. 
I can take a little bit more ice. And then uh, I've got 10 more kilograms to go. I'm here. And of course, the game tells me that I've got two more kilograms left. It's just like, ah, ah, that was weird. My voice cracked when I said wah. head back and land this thing and let the ice form into hydrogen fuel might just leave this thing out one of the reasons why I made this whole entire hangar system is because people would come into our base, literally into our base, like with their own ships, and just boop it, and then they'd, they'd inflict so much damage and they would target our ships, so I, I just basically made a big covering for them. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave this thing out. So how's this going? much ice is left probably more than enough oh yeah all right i'll be right back okay so it's been a while um. um still sort of fueling 15 seconds 14 13 12 11, 10, skip 5 seconds, twice, I guess, now. Um, Alright, and... It is done. 51, that's good enough. Alright. Uh, let's go ahead and start the ion uh, thrusters. Um, uh, alright. So... Yeah, that's just the perfect amount. Um... Alright, wait, I didn't take off the... Dang it. <laughs> Sorry. Alright, uh, there. Wait, what? What? Oh, that's the... I was wondering why it wasn't working. Uh, alright. And now... I should be able to just... Get in. Alright, ignition. There we go. This is nothing for me. Um, I've done this multiple times. It's not so difficult. When you have a large store of ice, and then you forget to restock on ice before recording. Yeah, alright. Well, uh, I'll see you guys when I get up there. 15 kilometers, which is gonna be... Oh, about 155 seconds from now, which is like two minutes from now. So yeah, all right. Well, see you in two minutes. Actually, this might get in a little bit interesting soon, so skip if you want. But uh, there there will be a point where I have to turn off the hydrogen engine, and um, I will start planning for docking. Uh, I have to turn on hydrogen, turn off hydrogen engine about halfway through. As you can see, look at the speed. It goes down. These things can't power themselves through the atmosphere. So I have to wait until I get out of the atmosphere. Oh, shoot. My uh, thing wasn't on. My head thing. My 
helmet wasn't on. Uh, so once we get out of the atmosphere, which should be pretty soon, um, I think another kilometer after that, and I should be able to turn off the hydrogen engine and still be able to uh, maintain speed. Um, let me try it now. Nope. Need to figure out what altitude that works at. I have the parachute set so that they auto deploy at 330 meters. It's really, it's really intense when you're coming back down and you're just waiting for the parachute to deploy and you're just like, any time now. And the parachute doesn't deploy until, until you can practically see uh, the design of the, uh, the base's uh, light armor blocks. It is so scary, but I've only had it fail on me once. Uh, fact. Oh wait, yeah. Uh, let me go and turn on the merge blocks. Uh, almost out of the atmosphere, I think. I never look at the O2 levels at the bottom, middle, right-ish, because it, it usually doesn't work very well. Alright, uh, so I'm almost halfway done with all the hydrogen fuel. Uh, I will need at least about 18 to 15 percent once I get back. I'll need around 20 percent when I'm coming back down, but I'll need the rest, uh, 18, about 18 to 15 percent when I am uh, traversing down below. Uh, trying to line up with the base and all. Come on! Um, should be another, maybe another kilometer or so, but I'm already out of the atmosphere. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. So, hydrogen engine is now off, we are now on ion. And yes, it is now working, so log that, uh, 12,400. And I am four kilometers away from base. You guys got a quick glimpse of it. It's not much. It's just a, uh, a little platform. Oops. I like this ship because it kind of looks ugly in that junky sense where someone just slapped a bunch of parts on there, which is exactly what I did. <laughs> um, initially, this thing was a two-stage process where I'd have the hydrogen engine disconnect. Then I realized, why do that when I'm landing the whole entire thing? Um, when I want the hydrogen engine back. You know? Oh, you know what? It says it's high because the, the oxygen levels are high because I'm in a cockpit that was closed and opened on Earth. So all the air is still in there. Eventually it'll go down if it were real life. But here, let me see. Okay, uh, coming in fast. Alright, put that helmet on. Uh, I think the docking, yes, the merge block is on the other side. Yeah, there it is. Still this dock in, uh, you know, a uh, 3D view. I think this thing can handle gravity at this altitude, like this. I hope so. Nope, 
It can. All right. Uh, might just have have it parked like this. The merge blocks are always sort of tricky. Oh shoot! No. Come on, game. It'd be really cool if I could park it like this. So now what's wrong? Oh, I'm too high. Oh no. Okay, there we go. It is now merged. That was weird. All right, let me actually. I think. I think I want to reposition this whole entire base, but it is more directly above. Oh, uh, but no, my GPS indicator says otherwise. And now I can actually get up and uh, let's head in. There's not much to see in there and I think I left the doors open. That's not good. Uh, um, if anybody could tell me how to pressurize this whole thing, that'd be helpful. I've got a little cockpit in here. Oh, another great view. Uh, I'll go off there right now, actually. This game is beautiful sometimes. Sometimes random ships can crash into your base and you freaking you know have to rebuild practically everything in that area. Alright, uh so shipment Moving everything over here. Alright. I don't even care anymore about the pressurization. Well, I mean, if if I could figure it out, yeah, but I mean, like, not right now. Yes, we have steel plates. Let me go ahead and build something. So it won't be so annoying to uh, get up. other side as well. Oops, no, I don't want to respawn. Alright. And that should be good. As for the rest of the stuff, uranium. Uh, let me put some uranium back. 198 divided by 2. That would be 2... Four nine point one five. All right, uh, and then let's chuck this into the reactor that I have in here somewhere. I don't remember where I put it. I think it has to be inside. Yeah, it's probably inside. Uh. I kind of just threw everything in here for that consideration. Alright. Um. So. Let me just undock. Perfect. And then, let me properly align myself. This might take a while. See a base. See, I'd like to come down straight down so that I don't have to... 
navigate down there. I don't know if this game has planet rotation, but this base has been slowly moving under me. Or mu moving away from uh, the the uh, space station. Now I do know that I already have an, another space where the aircraft, not aircraft, it's spacecraft. But I mean, why would they even do anything? Um, oh, well, this thing still has oxygen, huh? Cool. But I mean, it's it's a lot, I think it's a lot more fun to do this instead. Also, that thing is huge, and it, it'd be a pain to park it every single time. I want to get to the point where I am 7 point, uh, 17 point four ish kilometers away. If you know what I mean. Uh, so that then I know that I am directly above it. So, I'll be back when that happens. Okay, so I am sort of above it, but I'll figure out the specifics when I get down there. But, uh, full speed. And, uh, I'm not sure if I really want to turn off inertial dampeners. Uh, should probably just leave them on. Yeah. Alright, well, this is going to be boring for the next minute or so. Yeah, how about a minute? So, uh, skip if you want, but, uh, yeah, in about a minute, I'll be getting ready to land, and I will be slowing down using my hydrogen engine, uh, preparing for chutes to deploy and stuff like that, and maybe even, uh, not using the hydrogen engine and just relying on the chutes. be about two minutes now uh, actually about three minutes until I touch the ground maybe four or five the uh, the the shoots deploy at literally the, the last second Yes, I am perfectly positioned. Almost perfectly, actually. The numbers are lining up, which means I am directly above the base, which is very good. Uh, better look at the rocket. I mean, it's nothing special. In fact, I just, the, the only thing I would change about it is the front. The front just is absolutely horrendous. Other than that, it actually kind of looks like a, a real-life space station. Uh, like how they just kind of chuck stuff onto it. Uh, they just add components on without thinking about aesthetics. I mean, in reality, I mean, who cares about aesthetics and, and science, really, uh, and engineering? Other than if there are customers involved, like with planes and things like that uh, re recreational and travel uh, but if it's experimental and uh, space related who cares about the aesthetics so I might as well just leave that on 7 kilometers so that's, that gives me almost a minute 
uh, in about seven seconds here. Uh, I'll have a minute to slow down before, uh, actually I'll have about 30 seconds before I have to slow down. Alright, 30 seconds and counting. You can already see the, uh, alright, I know what position I'm in. I think I might have to do better repositioning. Alright, let me try and do a short burn. That way. Alright, that way a little bit. Okay, 30 seconds. Now, right now you may be thinking, Dolan, you're going in too fast. You're gonna run into the, the, the ground. These shoots are the most e effective Effective shoots that I have ever seen. Alright, giving it a short burn. Stir it back. Almost there. Almost there. Oh no. Uh, things went wrong. The shoots didn't deploy. What? All right then. I'll be right back to figure out what that what went wrong. <laughs> 